So in this example, what you guys are basically going to do is um, the best thing, you don't have to do this, but here's my recommendation. If you guys remember on the front page, I gave you guys what the parent graph looked like. The parent graph looks like this V graph. And the equation for the parent graph is y equals absolute value of x. Right? Now, we do have some changes here. Remember the transformation equation. OK? So we have some values now for a, we have some values for h, and we have some values for k. So now we need to understand, what are those values going to do to our graph? How are they going to change it? Without creating a table, which you could always do, but you guys can see the table kind of takes a little bit of time. How can, what are these going to change my graph? Well, remember, we have the absolute value of a here is less than um, 1. So that, if you guys remember, when the absolute value of a is less than 1, what does that do? On your front page, that horizontally stretches your graph. Well, how does that do that? Well, if you guys look at this, you guys can think of the a in the parent graph as 1 over 1. Basically, you're going up 1 over 1, right? So the slopes here of the absolute value graph of the parent graph is just 1 over 1, which is basically right there. It's kind of written in there. So now, if I have 1 over 2, what that's going to do is, from my vertex, it's going to go up 1 over 2. All right? But I actually kind of got ahead of myself here, because we should find the transformations first. So let's go back to A. I started talking too early. Let's go into what is H and K going to do. Well, remember, H is always like the opposite. So x plus 2 is going to tell me to take my graph, shift it two units to the left. And k is going to tell me to shift my graph one unit up. So now, instead of my vertex being at 0, 0, I now have my vertex at the point negative 2, 1. And that is directly because of what the values are of h and k. That's a really bad h and k. But what you guys can know is the absolute value function the vertex is the values of h and k. And just remember, the value of h is negative 2. Yes? Kind of talked about that before. So now, to graph our points, rather than going up 1 over 1 like the parent graph, now we're going to follow this slope, which is up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. And then I can just graph this. So do you guys see on my blue graph how it's been stretched horizontally? And it's also been shifted two units to the left and one unit up. And that's all you guys had to do for that. OK? Now, last form of instruction here. 